give people a little bit of glimpse behind the curtain of some of our running gags on yeah. set. Um, for some reason, and I, you know, I, I'm fairly confident that God's okay with it, but we have these running gags that Jesus is, uh, can raise the dead, he can heal the sick, but he's horrible with directions. Directions are not his forte. <laughs> right. So uh, those who haven't noticed at the end of episode eight, at the end of the credits, there's a little Easter egg of this alt take that we did. So awesome. Yeah. Um, so there's the scene in episode eight where Jesus meets the other disciples at the Southern Fountain, and you even told Nicodemus, "Meet me at the Southern Fountain," and uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave and, and we're gonna leave for uh, our ministry. And uh, you did a take where uh, where what what happened in that take? So I thought, wouldn't it be funny if he got there? Because we actually were in this one shot that we were doing, it was just me and and Jordan who plays little James, and we were kind of like uh, Giovanni and, who and plays Giovanni, Thaddeus, yeah. uh, and then uh, and then we there was nobody else. There, like I think the, the the queue wasn't called, or the actors hadn't come out yet, or something, and and I said, wouldn't it be funny, like if they just didn't show up? We said that in the southern quarter. No, we said the north. Uh, so do we have to go back to? Yeah, I thought I could have sworn I said that. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> and then it turns out that Jesus actually told them the wrong fountain, the <laughs> wrong, what is the wrong, the, the wrong corner of yeah, the square. Yeah, you had said, you had said, so yeah, so you're like, uh, Southern Fountain, right? And, and, and little James, and when you guys did it, without missing a beat, just goes, no, no, you said the Northern Fountain. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this notion of, oh, I did it again, <laughs> right? So we, that became a running gag of almost every scene that involved travel. You were always turning left instead of right. The disciples were always going, It's this way. It's, no, Master, it's this. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, it's turned around. I was <laughs> turned around. <laughs> so, the, so there's that Jesus can't get directions correct for the life of him. And then also, he is, can't land a punchline. We had the, because we had you. <laughs> Awkward joke. Well, and, and it came because in the scene with Matthew and the, the uh, at, at the, the feast at Matthew's house mm -hmm. at the beginning of episode eight. Yeah. Uh, very famous story from the Bible where Jesus is dining with, with tax collectors and sinners. And we have this scene where they're all kind of joking with each other. And <laughs> they're all saying, oh, I thought the Pharisee would trip on his robe. And, and everyone's laughing. And, oh, uh, uh, looking at the look on your face was priceless. And everyone laughs. And then, and then uh, Rivka says, I thought I was going to be arrested. And everyone laughs. And you say, yeah, with your luck, you know, that's, that's what would happen. And, and it was always <laughs> <Dead>. silent. <laughs> the dead. actors just wouldn't react at just, all. Just bombed. It just bombed. <laughs> and so you were like, nothing? Anyway? <laughs> At one time, I literally, you can hear me in one of the outtakes laughing off camera because it was every time you tried to say something, and we would say, like, why don't you try a different line? Yeah, switch up the Just ad-lib a little bit and try to say something funny, and every time it was just crickets. Just crickets. And you're like, I can heal the <laughs> sick, but I can't land a punchline. God, why couldn't you have given me the ability to tell a joke, to tell a joke. just once? <laughs> yeah. But if you got healing, that's all you get. Yeah, but I, for me, that has helped through, through the shoot. Oh, uh, yeah. Has given us like a... Like it's it's helped free me from the weight of it at times because if I think too much about it about some of the scenes that we're about to portray it's overwhelming. I remember, I remember when we were going to shoot the scene at the end of episode one with mm. Mary Magdalene and you, you and Liz and I were all in our separate corners, tears streaming down our faces, yeah. like knowing that we were about to do the most important scene in the show and feeling the weight of all of it. And it was also you know six below zero. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think for me that the joking has been. The, the, the constant riffing and, and the alternate universe that we've created of Jesus as, as uh, bad, bad with directions and, and bad with punchlines. And has I, helped me, has it helped you? Yeah, yeah so, I, I, think, I think for the same reasons that it's helped you, yeah. and for me playing specifically Jesus, uh, like because it can get overwhelming thinking about what it is we're doing. To be able to have a very innocuous, and gentle outlet, and and I, you know, I, I picture Jesus like just kind of like shaking his head, you know, like, like I think he'd appreciate it, and I think he would think it's funny, right. and and if I if I didn't, or if I thought it was offensive or in some way harmful to his image, like I wouldn't do it. But to me, I mean, this is as good natured as any of the other jokes that are written in the show. Well, and that's the thing. I think some of the humor that we've explored off camera 
has been helpful to inform some of the jokes that we do. And I, we hear people all the time, the humor of Jesus in the show is one of their favorite parts because you know him winking at Barnaby when Barnaby says something good can come from Nazareth and you wink at him and it's like, it's okay. And everybody's like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. And he's like, that's ah, fine. Yeah, and the, uh, the episode seven or eight when Simon is saying, you know, what's, you know what's in my head and you go, well, everyone knows what's in your head. It doesn't take God's wisdom. See? That's what I mean, you already know anyway. Simon, everyone here knows what you're thinking most of the time. It does not take God's wisdom. Hmm? Uh, those, those kind of bits, I think, help. Uh, not only do they help alleviate the weight of the show, I think they actually enhance the weight of the show and sometimes because it makes people more connected to Jesus. Hey there, it's Dallas, I'm the creator of The Chosen. Would you mind doing me a favor? Just real quick, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. It really helps our channel get out in front of more people. Thank you so much.